Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how auto-ducking works in Adobe Audition CC. So here we are, and it's a new feature uh, starting in Adobe Audition CC 2018, auto-ducking, and I can enable it right now on this music track I've got here. This is a jingle. Uh, I'll just assign it as music in essential sound, and I want to tick ducking, and it just gives you some default uh, ducking settings. Now you can choose to duck against uh, essential sound dialogue clips, other music clips if you like, sound effects, ambience, or I'm just going to tick here, uh, duck against any clips without assigned audio type, which is basically anything that I'll drop into the multi-track in any position. Uh, and you'll see I've got some settings I will go into in just a moment. But right now, let's punch in uh, a track on track one, and I'll record something, some speech, and you'll see how the auto-ducking works. Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com, and this is a quick test of auto-ducking in Essential Sounds, the wonderful Essential Sound panel of Adobe Audition CC 2018. You can see in real time, it's already ducking the music as I talk. Fantastic. Okay, uh, there we go. And yes, the uh, algorithm's caught up. Let's uh, disable now that. Uh, so this is using Adobe Sensei technology, which is artificial intelligence to detect the, the exact loudness and all the parameters of any audio you put in and duck the music or whatever you want to duck in volume against the other audio tracks in your multi-track session. First thing I'm going to do is just boost up that audio I recorded. So normalize to minus 0 0.1 dB. There it is. Uh, and you'll see there's the ducking. And uh, you'll find that the default ducking that Essential Sound gives you is, is rather kind of slow and, and not very tight. You'll see what I mean when I play it back. Hello, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. So you clearly heard the duck, but uh, it was a bit too slow and a bit too early. Uh, so we can change all of that. That's the good news. Watch the pink dotted line, pinky purple dotted line. And uh, what we'll do first of all is change the sensitivity like so. And you'll see what happens as we change this around. See, when I change it to low, it's kind of just moving up now a bit more. And then when I move it up, it's just ducking for certain parts of my speech. So we want to get it to a happy medium around there where it's ducking against the whole of my speech. Uh, and then reduce by, we'll come back to in just a moment because I want to move the fade and tighten that up now. And look at those tight fades that are going on. You can see it's even uh, boosting the music back up here at the points I stop speaking or I take little breaths. Uh, which is great. And again, if we then adjust the sensitivity, you can see that, oh, no, we don't want to do that. That's too much. But this might be quite good. Look at that. That is seriously, if we zoom in on that, that is some seriously advanced auto-ducking going on there. Not quite sure how it's going to sound. It's probably going to sound like I'm riding the, riding the fader like crazy. Let's give it a go. Hello, I'm Mike from Music Radio <laughs> So clearly more stuff needs to be done. Um, what I'd probably do is actually take this down in overall amplitude. Um, I'd probably run a compressor over my voice. So let's just uh, stick in a really uh, easy one. Let's go for the single band compressor. And uh, yeah, we'll go for threshold of about 30, a ratio of 3 to 1. And probably going to need some uh, input output gain boost. Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. Yeah, so that's that's rather too sensitive at the moment. So I'm just going to move the sensitivity up a bit. I'm Mike from, and I'm also going to change the reduce by volume up a little bit, so we're not ducking so much. So it's just a subtle duck there. Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. And there we go. We're starting to get closer now to um, a better kind of auto ducking feature. But the best thing about this is it's totally automated and uh, totally decided by artificial intelligence. I absolutely love the use of Adobe Sensei technology uh, to make those um, auto duck automations. Now, it might get you just about to the stage you want to be with your auto ducking of your music against voiceover. But you might say, ah, oh, there's... There's just a few things left that a human really needs to do. Well, it's all right. There is the option here. If you untick monitor clip changes, you can actually automatically change the automations that have been written in. So if you didn't like the fact that it boosted the volume up there, you can change your keyframe there. You can put in your own keyframes if you want. You can do whatever you want, uh, basically, to this line, which is similar to the amplitude line. It just uh, turns down the volume, ducks the volume of the music. Be warned, though, if you retick monitor clip changes, all of your automations are lost and the artificial intelligence uh, takes over again. But a fantastic new feature in Adobe Audition CC 2018, auto-ducking in essential sounds. Leave a comment below this video and let me know how you're going to use it.